this is a VIP toilet. That's a ventilation improved pit toilet. Now with an ordinary pit toilet, which is essentially a hole in the ground, the flies live on, shall we say, the contents of the pit. And when you go in there and you squat down, the flies are disturbed. They come up and they bite you on the bum, which isn't very nice because you get a very nasty infection. And these are rather more sophisticated. They're built in a particular way. So the main heat of the day is on the back of this building. And the front stays relatively cool. This is Sierra Leone, so it's, it certainly isn't cool, but it's a relative thing. And there is a pipe which goes from the tank underneath to the roof line. And that pipe is black. So that pipe is permanently hotter than the front here. That means the air in the pipe is drawn upwards, like a chimney. And there is a constant throughput of fresh air. So this doesn't smell. Even though there is no water, there are no traps, this doesn't smell because there is a constant flow through of fresh air. When the doors are shut, it's dark in there. So the flies, when they're disturbed, they go to the light, which is at the top of the chimney. So instead of coming out and biting on the bum, they go in the other direction with the flow of air up to the light and then they get caught in the mesh at the top. They buzz around for 10 minutes, get absolutely exhausted and drop down dead. Very clever. VIP toilet. Luxury. One of the ways in which Mission Direct helps communities out here is to pay for projects to be done. So rather than just a bunch of white guys turning up and doing the job, Mission Direct pays local people to do the actual work. This brings much needed employment to an area where the national average is 75% unemployed, which means in the poorer areas, of course, it's even higher than that. So this toilet block was built by local contractors, paid for by Mission Direct. Unfortunately, the supervisor didn't supervise his men terribly well, and they've hung the doors so that they open inwards, like you would have on an ordinary building. But that means that when you're in the toilet block, to open the door you have to step back and you put your feet in the toilet bowl, which isn't very nice for anybody, let alone if you're barefoot or just wearing flip-flops. So Abu and I are going to turn these doors round so that they open outwards. It's not a terribly difficult job, but when we started this three days ago, we discovered that the hinges that we'd got weren't suitable. So we went off to buy some tea hinges. At home, I could just nip down to B&Q. Ten minutes, and I'm there, and I would have a choice. It took us all morning, and we didn't find any tea hinges at all. We went to all the local traders. In the end, we bought these in the center of Freetown. They're small, they're lightweight, but they were all we could get. It was like finding gold, because it had taken so much effort just to get something like this. We also discovered that they don't have any screws here. Everything is nailed together. So when we took this door off, we had to wreck all the screws that have been put in and wreck the hinges that have been put in just to get the door off. So much that we take for granted at home simply isn't like that here. I brought with me a set of drill bits, never thinking that you actually need a drill to put them in. And these drill bits, we can't use them because we've got nothing to make them go round. So we're very fortunate in that we've been able to borrow a cordless drill from one of the local NGOs. Just everything is so much more difficult out here. Fortunately, one of the team members brought some screws out from England, so we can actually hang these hinges with screws. Yes, for go take that bench over. Yes. Anything we they are both right for work. We're nearly done the rebates because 
the frames are back to front and it has to be in bits because in making in cutting the door down to make it narrower we've removed the sort of clear part of the side of the, of the edge of the door so uh, it's all it's all a bit sort of Heath Robinson really but at least you'll be able to get in and out without putting your foot down the pan <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, here we are. The VIP toilets are finished. And we've got a lock. Uh, well, sort of a lock. There we go. There's a lock on the inside here. And you don't have to put your foot down the pan to get out. What a smashing job. <laughs>